Hi, and welcome to Let's Bake and Cook Stuff. I'm Mary, and today I'm gonna make cake pops. In order to make cake pops, we have to make a cake. And let's get started. I have the yellow cake mix. It says one cup of water, three eggs. But follow your package direc directions, whatever your directions say on your cake mix. That's what you do. And you're gonna do 30 seconds on low, and then two minutes on medium. And then we'll be back, because you don't wanna sit through that. Okay. Cake mix is done. I'm going to put this in a 9 by 13 and I've already sprayed this. In case you don't know what cake pops are, they're cake crumbs mixed up with frosting. Then you roll them into balls and then you put them on a stick. Then you um, dip them in a candy. According to cake mix directions, this is supposed to go into a 350 degree preheated oven for 30 to 35 minutes. Anyway, I will see you in about, well, about two seconds. Don't run away because you're going to love these cake pops. Cake is done. All of this cake into this bowl. Now we're going to make our frosting. I have a half a, uh, half a cup of butter, one stick of butter here. Oh, shoot. And now I'm adding in two cups of uh, powdered sugar. A little tiny bit of vanilla. About a teaspoon or so. Okay, we're going to add a couple tablespoons of milk this is a nice creamy consistency there's a nice medium medium buttercream you don't need a whole lot we'll put about a third of a cup in here and we'll try that and see how that goes and if it, it needs more then we can add more but you you know obviously you can't remove it once you've uh, put it in there so and if they're too wet from the frosting then it won't work they'll they won't stick on the on the sticks so if the kids like to help in the, the kitchen they can uh, of course squish some frosting into some cake crumbs right you want that frosting in there and you want it to be the consistency of play-doh hopefully you've played with play-doh as a child and uh you can see see i'll go ahead and mush it up like that see how it's like it's like it's just like play-doh got my scoop now we're just rolling it in a ball and you can kind of squish it together if it's not coming together right. And you'll know at this point, if you didn't have enough uh, frosting in there, then it wouldn't stick together. See, now we have our first cake pop ball. And if you don't have sticks, you can just use them like this and do them as cake balls. You see how easy this is, right? It's the easiest thing in the whole wide world. And I think the, the hardest part is making sure you get the right amount of frosting and don't put too much or too little. If you put too little, again, you can add more in, but if you put too much, you're gonna have to bake another cake and stick some more crumbs in there because they will fall off of the sticks. Now, these little cake balls are gonna go in the freezer. I'm gonna leave them in there for about 10 minutes. If you leave them in there too long, when you go to dip them, they'll be frozen, obviously, and uh, the candy melts, it will crack more. If you're not going to be able to get to these in 10 minutes, put them in the fridge for like half an hour or so. Or they could actually be in the fridge indefinitely because they're not going to freeze, right? So, uh, okay, we're going to be back and it's going to be two seconds to you. Okay, 10 minutes have passed. I am going to melt the candy melts. I'm going to do these in the microwave. And I start out, the instructions are on the package, so you can follow those instructions. Our candy melts are melted nice and smooth and you can see this is a little bit thick this one's even thicker okay so sometimes this happens fear not we're going to add a little bit of oil a couple of teaspoons depending i'm going to show you how to do it with this styrofoam you can this is just styrofoam from a box like a packaged box okay so i didn't even buy it but you can buy styrofoam in the dollar store you can buy it at, uh, you know, in a craft store. So, uh, you know, however you want to do it. Basically, you stick it in the uh, candy melt. Then you stick it in the, wherever you want in there. See there? We're going to stick these here for now. It's super easy. You want to go about halfway in, not, not quite all the way to the, well, obviously not all the way, you know, out the top. Okay. Now I have these regular sticks. Just these regular sticks, you've probably seen them on these kind type of sticks. Do it the same way, stick it in there, and then you can wipe that off of there. But I kind of like it. it's like an extra little treat. So uh, these are going to go back in the fridge. You can go in the freezer or the fridge, 
to let this um, the stick harden in there with that candy and uh, then we're going to come back and then we're going to we're going to dip them in the candy melts and decorate them and then you can have some something delicious to serve to your sweetheart on valentine's day i'm going to dip it in the pink you're going to tap it gently now you want to kind of leave the the cake pop standing up a little bit. Don't go like that, because that's gonna definitely knock it off of your stick, okay? And then we're just gonna tap off most of that candy. And uh, you just don't want it to be too thick. It's just hard to eat it like that. Now this one, I'm just gonna stand up like this, okay? Be ready. Got one with the cute little heart straws. There we go. There's that one. Let's put a couple little hearts on this one. And, and you can put just a couple on there too, if you, even if you just want to put like one. Okay. All right. So you get it. Now I'm going to show you how to, well, I'm going to, I'm going to finish dipping all of these. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how to hide it if there's any cracks. Okay, so all my cake pops are dipped. I still have some candy melt left. I'm going to put it in this little Ziploc bag. This is a just a sandwich bag. You see how it has the little crack on there? Can you see that? Okay, so I'm just going to paint this. Oh, I want to do this with chocolate anyway, so... But anyway, it still looks pretty with the pink. Nice, right? How pretty is that? And if you had, these aren't, they're not cracked, but if they were, you would be able to hide the cracks like that. I'm gonna bring this up closer. I'm just swirling it. And you can do whatever you want. You can do little round, circles pretty right little squirty little circle uh oh and you can do as much or as little or none at all pretty huh squirt it on here Now let me see if I put a little pink in the middle that will actually look like a flower. Oh, how cute. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make cake pops today. If you would like to see more from me, please hit that subscribe button. You take care now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.